her that the objective of her association is to promote the education of women through the existing committees in the territories and metropolitan areas. What Jane does next is she requisitions and then purchases two hotels, in particular one that has 40 rooms with the help of the AOF and other funds to accommodate the students. This system is reinforced by granting scholarships to 30 African or Asian girls to come to France. These girls are welcomed and then housed by the association. World War II ends and journalist and activist Jane V.I. Uh, or Vial, we still have yet to know, maybe one of you can tell me how to pronounce it properly and I'll share it with the group. She now focuses on French institutional reconstruction. The focus in particular on relations between France and its colonies through the French Union created in 1946 during the Fourth Republic. She's a correspondence correspondent for the French West Africa. She closely monitors the two con constituent assemblies building the Fourth French Republic. So this is like between 1944 and 1958. At this point, Jane is taking a very keen interest in the debates on the reorganization of the French colonies into a French union based on equality, rights, and privileges without the distinction of race or privilege. Here's another quote from Jane. The people of France must know that there are people overseas who think in French and who are intimately linked to France. I asked the government, and in particular, the Minister of Overseas France, to do everything in his power not to disappoint our African brothers. I like this little spot a lot because you're so close to the river, and you're right there next to the Notre Dame de Paris. In July 1946, Jane founded her own political party called the Association for the Evolution of Black Africa. During this period, Jane is making um, overseas uh, travels. She's holding conferences, debates, and meetings on the African continent. At the same time, the journalist advocates the right to education of African women, such as education, granting of scholarships, quality of the school programs between the metro metropolis France and overseas France, and the liberation of African women. At this point, Jane is all set to get into politics. In January 1947, classified on the left, Jane was a candidate for election to the Republican Council under the label of Unified Resistance Movements. She was elected on January 10th, 1947, and decided to join the socialist group in the council. Re-elected on November 14th, 1948, Jane sat on the Senate's Economic Commission, which was called the Commission de la France de Outre-mer. And in 1947, she proposes motions concerning the quality of French citizens, in particular between citizens of the metropolis and the citizens of France overseas. She fought in 1949 and 1950 to disseminate education in the colonized territories to improve the school curriculum in French Africa. Jane also made a law bearing her name concerning the search for paternity in the overseas territories. And if that's not enough, at this point, Jane is also a member of the United Nations Commission for the Study of Slavery in All Its Forms, and she has made a member of the NAACP. <laughs> Hopefully by now you can uh, start to understand why I was a little frustrated because you know, she was a big part of the political system in the 40s and 50s in France, sat on the Senate. The Senate has a page dedicated to her, as they do all of the other senators, but it's just so lacking in information and her entire story. 
And this is where her story ends because tragically, February 7th, 1953 at 9.28 uh, 9 p.m., the DC-4 of the ATU airline, Union Transport Aero Maritime, coming from the Ivory Coast via Casablanca, crashed in a small forest at the approach of the Bordeaux airport due to thick fog. So the, her plane crashes as she's coming back from another political trip down to Africa. She is seriously injured on both of her legs due to a fire from the plane. She falls into a coma and shortly after admission to the hospital, she dies there uh, two days later, February 9th, 1953, with eight other passengers, eight out of the 21 on board, uh, perished. I tried to look up places as well that perhaps we could go and see. Um, you know, like a plaque, street name, statue, something in, in France that represents her. Uh, there's an eighth so um, in Paris that I can go and, and see and show with show you. So we're going up the stairs. We've almost made the entire loop. This story took us all the way back to Ile Saint Louis. for the rather abrupt ending to her story but it literally is just that um, she died so quickly and uh, tragically in that plane accident uh, but I hope you agree that I chose a story worthy of sharing and um, I will provide a link to the Senate page and uh, I, that concludes our four week celebration of International Women's Month. I uh, also hope, j'espère, that you enjoyed all four segments. And I look forward to starting a new month fresh in April with all sorts of goodies.